Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's Jessica Fit Beauty. If you're new, welcome to my familia. If you're coming back, welcome back. Today I'm going to be creating a look using the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette. This is the look. And I'm also doing something really exciting with the holidays coming. I just love giving away. <laughs> And we are approaching 3,000 subscribers. I know, small for some, big for me. So I'm doing this giveaway. There is one for me, and then I have a brand new one in here for you guys have not even opened. So if you wanna see how to create this look and also see how to be entered into win this palette, just keep on watching. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right on into this. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lids first using the Tarte Lid Lock in Buff. And I'm just gonna take my finger because, you know, I'm not feeling the hottest today. And we're just gonna apply this right on the lid. Sorry if I'm using the middle finger and it's offending anybody. I'm not trying to offend anybody or flip anybody off. It's just one of the best fingers next to the ring finger because it applies the least amount of pressure. So I can't really get my ring finger in this as easily as I can my middle finger. I know, stupid, right? So I'm just gonna apply this all over the lid. Let's jump into the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm not gonna swatch it. I'm not gonna do that whole hoopla spin around for a hot second on the internet I will link a few really good swatch videos down below so you guys can check it out um, I am going to go in with the color silk cream. This is a little bit more of a cool toned crease shade and I'm gonna go in with my Japanese fluffy br blending brush. This is the 835 and if you guys have not seen my review on these brushes, check it out because I love them. If you guys want me to review any of the Morphe brushes, let me know, let me know which ones, if there's a bundle, whatever, I will gladly do that. I have checked them out a little bit at Ulta. They seem pretty good, but I can do a full review on them because I've heard there is some controversy on the intranet, seriously. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this color and we're gonna put it right into the crease. And this is going to be our transition shade. This does have a little bit of fallout. That doesn't really bug me. Um, anytime you pack a shadow not too heavily, it's gonna have some fallout. And this is a new formula, so it's a little bit different. I do have the 350 palette, which I like, I'm not obsessed with. Um, I will use it for certain looks because there are some good shades in there, but it's not something I gravitate towards all the time. Just saying. So now that we have Silk Cream in the crease, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Pooter. Nice name. It's a shade right here, and I'm just going to kind of darken up the crease slightly a bit more and try and center it a little bit more into the deep part of the crease. The first shade I really kind of blended out, this one I'm trying to kind of centralize a little bit more into the crease. Okay, so there we have it for those two shades. And now I am dying to try this color. So I'm going to go in with, I think it's Enchanted. Yes, it's Enchanted. It's this matte, dark kind of olive greeny color. And I am going to use a Japanese brush. This is the 232 brush. It's more of a detailed crease brush. I'm just going to pick up a little bit on my brush, tap off the excess, and I'm going to start applying it into the crease on the outer portion. And I'm going to carry it down into the outer V as well. And then I'm going to go back in with this big fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to kind of blend it out. Can we see how pigmented that is? That's crazy pigment. Normally I like to build up, but I didn't tap this off because I forget this is more pigmented than the other 350 palette. So once I have this on, I'm going to go ahead and blend it in. That is so pretty, such a pretty, pretty, pretty shade and different. You know, I like things that are being a little bit more different. I'm going to build up a little bit more on this outer portion of the V, bringing it kind of slightly down into the center and into the center of the crease. Go back in with the 835 and blend it in. That is so Pretty, okay, I'm gonna finish the other eye, I'll be right back, and then we will finish off the lid. All right, so I am done now with that part using the color 
enchanted on the outer V. I'm really, really impressed with the way this looks. It's such a beautiful color. I will say it does not blend super easy. Is it blendable? Yes. Do you have to work with it a little bit more? Yes. The price is $38. It's a lot different than paying, let's say, $100 for a palette like by Natasha Denona, who's blend so easy. But I like the payoff and you can definitely work with them. Anyway, with that being said, let's... Okay, now I'm going to go into the palette, back into the palette, and we are going to use the color Hustle, which is this kind of taupey shimmery shade. And I am going to use a 213 brush by Japanesque. I'm going to start off with no MAC Fix Plus on the brush. I'm just going to see how it looks without it. Of course, I always use MAC Fix Plus or I lay down a I lay down some more of a base on the lid and then apply just so it gives a little more pop, but let's do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and we're just going to apply it on the lid. So it's good, but I think I would definitely get more of a pop by using some MAC Fix Plus. So we're gonna spray some on the brush and go back in. And then I'm going to put it directly onto the lid. There we go. I'm just getting a little bit more of a pop then I'm going to go back in with this detail crease brush and I'm going to kind of blend everything in a little bit better. That is so pretty. I'm loving this. I do want to stick a little bit more of a pop on the inner corner, but that will have to wait until I get concealer and foundation on, which I'm going to... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. Spray a little MAC Fix Plus because it definitely did apply better with MAC Fix Plus pick up that color and go right in on this lid. I'm going to go back in with that small blending brush and just kind of make sure there's no harsh lines on this outer portion. So here is the eye look. I'm going to go ahead and hop off camera and do eyeliner. I'm going to put some lashes on and foundation, all that good stuff. And then we will finish up the... All right, guys. So that is it for this look. I went ahead and did everything off camera. I have my foundation on. I did complete my eyes. My foundation, I will not link down below in the description box because it's going to be tomorrow's video. So this video is being uploaded Friday, even though I'm filming Thursday. And then the next video, which I'm also filming today, which is Thursday, is going up Saturday. That's confusing. And it's a review on what this foundation is. So if you guys want to see that, check it out too. But if you guys are excited to enter to win this Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm so excited to give it away to you guys. Please check down below in the description box for how to enter. One lucky winner will be announced in two weeks because I'm gonna kind of keep unrolling with giveaways as we roll into the holiday up until about the middle of December. I have some fun stuff giving away. You guys can enter every single one if you want. Overall, I love the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. I think it's definitely an upgrade from their other palettes. I'm excited to try, I got the Slay by Day and the Slay by Night palette, should be here sometime today. So I'm excited to try those out too because again, it's with the new formula and yes, I do think this is a bit pricey for Morphe because you're not getting a mirror, you're not getting any of the extra like exciting things, but I think it's a great palette and if you're a beginner and you just want all of these colors, warms and some cools, it's a great way to start. So anyway, if you guys want to see more looks featuring the Jaclyn Hill palette, let me know in the box if you like the look I created today. If you're going to recreate it, tag me on my social medias. I love to see it. And then until next time, we'll be seeing you soon. Bye. I woke up like this. I woke up like this. Here's mess. I look like a mess. But this is my new beauty space. I've, you kind of like, if you've been following me for a long time, you've watched it evolve. It's been little by little by little. I first started off when I made that um, vanity with my uncle and I will link that uh, blog in the description box. So if you guys are wondering how I made the vanity light, you guys can check it out. And then I bought the desk uh, over the summer and then I just bought this um, from Target. It is like uh, a bookcase cubby thingy and it was on sale for $45.99 so I picked it up because at Ikea they're much more expensive. Anyway, <laughs>
long story. You guys like this? I, I can't decide. Like, aesthetically, just looking at it, I like it. I'm not sure I like it in the camera. It feels like it's missing something. Maybe it needs some more, like, light coming from it behind it, like some rope lights, you know, back shining up on it. It feels a little busy in camera. In person, I like it because it showcases all of like the brands I work for and then some of my favorite items that I have purchased over time. I think it looks pretty that way, but in camera, I'm like, Ugh, it looks like a little, it just, it makes my OCD go a little crazy because it looks just a little messy. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section.